I want us to just meditate on some few things about excellence. We are calling the year 2022 the year of divine excellence. God wants us to be in another level of life. The Bible says from glory to glory, from faith to faith, from victory to victory. In other words, we are moving from one level to another. So the year 2022 will be the year for another level of life. In the name of Jesus. We will be operating on another big and glorious level in the name of Jesus. So we are introducing this. Somebody <coughs> said, we don't know what the year 2022 holds. We are waiting to see what it brings. Is it the year that brings something or the one that takes into the year? Uh, we are waiting. The new year is coming. The year is uh, subject to what you hold, what you have in you. It is what you have in you that uh, makes the year what it is. <clears throat> uh, some, some people also say, we want to see what God has for us in the year 2022, 20, in the new year, what God has for us. God will not bring you what you have not expected, <laughs> what you are not dreaming. So God will only appear in your life depending on how much you have had his you. That is so God will only appear. He will you only meet him to the level you have prepared to meet him. If you choose to pray more, you'll see God more. If you choose to read the word of God more, you'll see God more. So the year is purely a product of uh, what you bring into it. So for the year 2022, uh, we are expecting excellence in every area of life. We are going to study deeper into this. Uh, our reference will be the book of Daniel chapter number 6. Daniel chapter number 6. That's what we are looking at at length. Uh, and I would read from verse 1 to 3 where the Bible says it pleased Darius to set over the kingdom 120 satraps these are presidents or no not president uh, uh 120 I don't know what, the, what some other version says but if we look at uh, Kenya as a country and we are talking about 47 counties we are talking about 120 counties that the, the, the land is divided to be over the whole kingdom so satraps are like governors if we come into that in, in Kenya so it is, it's like now we have 47 governors and then the president is there and the Bible says verse two, and over these three governors of whom Daniel was one that the satraps might give account to them so that the king would suffer no, no loss so, the 120 satraps we are talking about here are answerable to these three men. The three men. Uh, they are called here, here they are calling them governors. Now some version of the Bible says they call the other one princes and they call the three presidents and then the king is over all of them. The king is all over the highest followed by the three presidents 
and the governors. Let's use the word of Kenya that we have. So Daniel is at the second rank, second highest, next to the king. But there are two that are with Daniel. And the other 120 are governing uh, the whole area together. So it has divided for them. Just like what we now see Kenya, the president at the top there. I think what we might not have, maybe we can put deputy president somewhere there next to the king and the other governors coming, although that is not the system that is happening here. As I know, we have CSS and so many others. So, but then the Bible says in verse 3, then this Daniel distinguished himself above the governors and satraps because an excellent spirit was in him and the king gave thought to set him over the whole realm. So the Bible says he distinguished himself from the tree hmm? because an excellent spirit was in him because an excellent spirit was in him so of the tree I think I want us to, to read this I want to repeat uh, then this Daniel distinguished himself above the governors and satraps because the an excellent spirit was in him and the king gave thought to setting him over the whole realm. So the king is thinking of even making Daniel more than him, like the king himself. This was feeling like he should rule the whole area. I am feeling like, you know, looking at uh, how the man is so competent, so excellent, he is not like others. The standard he has set is so high to a point where you know whether he is positioned at a specific point or not, you know this he is higher than all of this. Looking at the standard, the standard he has set, the way that he is, there's a way he has lifted himself above others lifted himself i mean by quality of life that he lives quality of thoughts quality of work that he does everything about him is that unique the governor the, the prince the king himself feels like daniel should be above even if he has put them with the true the three presidents the man has improved himself and is above them. The Bible says because an excellent spirit is in him. Amen. So we are talking about excellent spirit. We will study Daniel at length and we will see what, all, what is all this that has come, uh, what has brought him to this level. So but what we are, not, what we are looking at is excellence. Excellent spirit. So from verse Three, you realize that uh, maybe if you look at some few things in this verse 3 uh, Daniel is above everybody he's above he's beyond these people and it's not because he's so rich than all of them he can even be rich because he cannot be attaining such uh, status or that, such level you not be reaching such a level and then you'll be poor. But it's not about, uh, about possessions. I think if it's about position, the, devil, the, the, the king has more. The king has more. But this one is about his own personal life as an individual. I mean, his, his own personal life. There's a way that uh, he has lifted everything about himself far above 
In other words, one of the things that I also believe that is bringing him to this level is that the level at which he studies the word of God. God has the highest standard. I wish we are given opportunity to see how heaven looks like. Just even the physical environment, although this heaven is spiritual, if you're allowed in to see how the environment is. Yeah? So the man's reasoning, excellence begins from thoughts. The way we, we think. This is the way you think, the Bible says, as a man thinks in his heart. So is he as a man thinks. So excellence is really a, a product of the information that grows through your mind, your thoughts, and produces the kind of person that you are. And this is a man who has been meditating on the word of God. I mean uh, the highest thoughts on the face of the earth that cannot be compared to any other thoughts. Now, in chapter number 6, where we are just reading, the Bible tells us about how Daniel prays three times in a day. And then if you read chapter number 12 of Daniel, Mm-hmm. Now that is in chapter number 9. The Bible says in the first year of Darius, the son of Ahasuerus, of the lineage of the Meds, who was made king of the realm of the Chaldeans, in the first year of the reign, I, Daniel, used and stood by the books of the years specified by the word of the Lord, given to Jeremiah, the prophet, that he would accomplish 70 years in dis the desolations of Jerusalem. Then I set my face towards the Lord God to make request by prayer and supplications with fasting, sackcloth, and ashes. Now, that also shows you that how he studies the word of God. And then he bases everything he does on what the word of God says. And he keeps the standard of the word of God. There's something about the study of the word and then commitment. It is very easy to do what the Bible says. When you are studying more and praying more. And it becomes difficult when you study less and you pray less to do what the Bible says. Because all your actions are part of your, of your thoughts. I mean all your actions are product of your thoughts. And uh, if you study uh, more of the word and then more to the prayers those information you got from the scriptures can easily be integrated into your system and then you put this quality things improvement always I want to believe I know when Daniel does his work there's also the, the other aspect of preparation and doing the things that you are to do as an officer somewhere. But I also believe that, uh, uh, I know he's excellent in that. He's, he's taking the standard of the, the word of God to make whatever he does which pleases God. I mean which pleases God. 
he does everything in line with what God expects of him. Remember, these people do not believe in the God that Daniel believes. They are in that land as captives. They do not understand the God of these people. But Daniel knows. Daniel knows the God he believes in. And he has given everything of his. You know when you look at chapter number 1 verse 8. The Bible says. The same book of Daniel. This, this, the commitment that we see to excellence began somewhere. In chapter number 1 verse 8. The Bible says. But Daniel purposed in his heart. That he would not defile himself. With a portion of the king's delicacies nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested of the chief of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. That kind of drinks and food that was given, that these people who are, I like the kind of explanation also, I get up there. I want you to, to look at this. Uh, let me Look at verse 3. Then the king instructed Ashpenaz, the master of his eunuchs, to bring some of the children of Israel and some of the king's descendants and some of the nobles. Young men in whom there was no blemish, but good looking gifted in all wisdom, possessing knowledge, and quick to understand, who had ability to serve in the king's palace, and whom they might teach the language and literature of the Chaldeans. If you look at the, the source of the excellence of this man, it began at the beginning when the guy is young, coming up. This is a description that the, the king is giving. He is not picking anybody because these people are in bondage are in captives. They have been taken captives. And the king is saying, just study these people and look for me the best. Them that are quick to understand. And he even talks about royalty their background. These are not people from anywhere. Them that are quick in comprehension, they have knowledge. Because they are to be taught something. So if they are to be taught, you know it's surprising when I look at this. Look at how the standards that kings have. Not just any kind of standard. And this is a king who does not believe in God. He has the highest standard. I mean high standard. <laughs> Just look for me this kind of people. Young men. Wow. Who do not have, who, not, who do not have, uh, in whom there is no blemish, but good looking. That talks about somebody that is not lame. Someone is not blind. Someone is not deaf. So physically they are fit. Intact. Everything about their body is in order. It's beginning from the, the physical outlook. And then it's going into their mind to bring uh, gifted in all wisdom. Possessing knowledge. And quick to understand. Hmm? That is the ability of their mind. This is not a dull person seated somewhere. I, sometimes I look at uh, <laughs> the people that are presented to serve God. My God. Huh? The people that are presented to serve God. Do we look for such kind of qualities when we are uh, I know God can use anybody we sometimes say. But that is not true. That's not true. God has his own standard. If a king
king who is a human being like any other human being has this kind of standard himself this is what determines the next thing now the next thing is you see they are talking about the physical fit physically fit and then they are talking about mentally sound and then what happens about mentally what, what is the next thing and then they say that uh, who had ability to serve in the king's palace hmm? so your ability to serve is dependent on your mental power how much you do is determined by how much you comprehend how much wisdom you have how quick you are to learn things and move on because if now you look at where Daniel is at the top there being the third person in fact he's now the second person in charge that's the truth because the king is preferring him more than even the, the other two who are in the same place so if you are to rise to such a level and you are to rule 120 governors if they are answerable to you the only person higher than you is the king then there has to be some wisdom some level of I am also believing that the king himself must be somebody who is so sound I'm saying the king himself must be so sound. It must be somebody whose mind is a bit developed, improved. So that he does not work with anybody around him. He has to look for people who have ability to do what he's talking about. We're talking about excellence. We're talking about excellence. So Daniel's word, Daniel was picked after this kind of interview happened and he succeeded in the very interview I think that I am assuming they interviewed so many people so many and of them only three were able to, 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 to qualify and one of them is Daniel and then the Bible says after that and the king appointed for them a daily provision of the king's delicacies and of the wine which he drank and three years of training for them so that at the end of that time they might serve before the king now from among those of the house of the sons of judah were daniel ananiah mishael and azariah to them the king of the eunuchs gave names he gave daniel the name belteshazzar to Ananiah shadrach to mishael meshach and to azariah abednego but daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with a portion of the king's delicacies nor with the wine which he drank therefore he requested of the chief of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself so they have been given all kinds of food. Every kind of thing that you can eat. And at least you marry when you are in training. Just like I think some of us when we went to college. We might not have had that, exp that, uh, that uh, opportunity to have enough to eat too much as you study. But then sometimes also the small thing that you have might determine what you your stomach and how you behave this man chose to be to remain sound from the beginning so the spirit of excellence we are, we are reading that was in him didn't begin when he rose to that level it was something that was his, in his system from his childhood can i use that word into when he became a youth and then now he's going up 
the same spirit of excellence is what made him to choose rightly to make some decision when he was right there and it is like he progressed in the same now this tells us that excellence is a habit that you form and you continue in all the days of your life is a habit that he had at the beginning now when you look at chapter number one and verse 17 the bible says as for these four young men god gave them knowledge and skill in all literature and wisdom and daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams and at the end of the day when the king had said that they should be brought in the chief of the eunuchs brought them in before nebuchadnezzar then the king interviewed them and among them all none was found like daniel ananiah mishael and azariah therefore they served before the king and in all matters of wisdom and understanding about which the king examined them he found them ten times better than all the magicians and astrologers who were in all his realm then daniel continued until the first year of king cyrus wow so now we are realizing as we are talking about the spirit of excellence uh, excellence begins with quality knowledge quality knowledge the information you put in your mind determines the person that you become i mean the information you put in your head if you listen to excellent people you become an excellent person so the man chose to accumulate or invest only in how can i call it do i call it choice knowledge hmm? when i talk about choice knowledge <laughs> hmm? they are they are we have to be selective and we, we should not be getting all kind of information we are not to interact with all types of people excellent people separate themselves from others they they look at the standard they don't just mingle with everybody anyhow they are looking for them that can improve them can increase them they are looking for somebody who can add value to their lives and every time that they are associating with somebody they have enough understanding of how their interaction with some other the people around will determine their destiny the spirit of excellence and uh, one thing about daniel as i'm looking at this is uh, you know he doesn't care what kind of uh, that instruction has already been given if it does not fit him he is not ready to fly by or to to be, to, to run by it he feels like eating food is not right then there's a way he approaches the man to whom that uh, that command has been given to carry out he comes and tells him very humbly verse 9 now god had brought daniel into the favor and good will of the chief of the eunuchs and the chief of the eunuchs said to daniel i fear my lord the king who has appointed your food and drunk and drink 
For why should he see your faces looking worse than the young men who are your age? Then you would endanger my head before the king. So Daniel said to the steward, and the chief of the eunuchs said, Set over Daniel, Ananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Please, test your servants for ten days. And let them give us vegetables to eat and water to drink. <coughs> to drink. Then let our countenance be examined before you. And the countenances of the young men who eat the portion of the king's delicacies. And as you see it, so deal with your servant. So he consented with them in this matter and tested them ten days. And at the end of the ten days, their countenance or their face appeared better and fatter in flesh than all the young men who ate the portion of the king's delicacies. Thus the steward looked, took, toward, took away their portion of delicacies and the wine that they were to drink and gave them vegetables. Amen. So, I don't know if we can try this. Vegetables and waters. But we need to study deep and see what exactly they ate. Which is these vegetables we are talking about. Uh, but I think something that you see there is uh, even if a command has come from the king of what everybody should eat, and Daniel knows that the man speaking to him that the king has put over them is a man with authority. He didn't just speak every instruction that he was given. He was selective. He selected what he will obey and what not. And he did it in a wise way. He did it in a wise way. Just please just look at us. I believe that uh, he must have understood something about vegetables and waters. Like what uh, I think we are told to drink more water. We are told to ole wanakunywa pombe, wanakunywa maji. People who drink a lot of alcohol, do they take water? Huh? Do they take water? <laughs> the water is alcohol. <laughs> I think we have a good example in the church, uh, Mushiri. Mushiri hardly takes water. And every morning his tea is alcohol. So look at a, a person like that who is not even, does not even have the capacity to eat anything. Today, we buy for him five liter and give him. Drinks very well. He eats. And uh, he's, he's looking more younger <laughs> than before. There's something about excellence even in the area of feeding. Even in the area of feeding. Huh? What keeps your body fit? More water. More vegetables that came from the very ground. Which is so much of health to your body. Very sound in his reasonings. And he knows how to uh, approach the king's guy and he tells them, this is what I choose. And then I will also continue in my study very well. So, I am, we are trying to look at this man. Well, how did he reach that level that we are talking about? It began with the early decision he made in life that at last put him far above many up there. It is a product of, so excellence we are saying is a product of knowledge. Now, Daniel has become an excellent person because they say an excellent spirit is in him. Excellence will always help you. One of the areas that uh, Excellence helps you so much in is to choose quality, to make quality choice. 
I mean the highest choice of all. The choices that makes you rise above every other. I think one of the truth is every one of us are making a decision every day. But there is a decision that lifts you above every other humans in your environment. There are decisions that raises you. And it is a product of the quality of information you have. Now, as you talk about, as you talk about quality, now, we are also going to be very cautious of who speaks to us. Selman says, Excellence is a language. He says, like, when I speak my own mother tongue, there are people who get, get there are people who uh, would easily get attracted to me. Because even in Marsabit, you've been speaking English, Kiswahili, and then you say some few words in Kiborana, everybody's <laughs> laughing around. They are, they are connected. Everybody's. He says, there are people who hear the language of excellence. You can be young, you can be old, you can be, you can catch that language. As somebody's talking, you're like, wow, that there is it. Language. So this is a man who is attracted to the language of excellence from the beginning until he rose up. Even when he hears anything, there's a way he looks at it. He doesn't take everything that comes. There's a way he does what? Uh, he looks deep into it. I'm looking for the words. Is it sieving or what is it? You balancing, measuring, so you doing what? <laughs> so that when he whether it doesn't matter who is speaking, I believe the person ordering him to do this eating is older than him. And he even knows. But the truth is, people who are not living in excellence are always influenced by them that are them that are, are in excellence. Even if sometimes they feel insecure and they fight. People who fight are mediocre as always. People, if you see somebody fighting another person, he's a mediocre person. <laughs> he's someone whose standard is low compared to the one that is attacking. Hmm? Many a times it is people who are doing nothing that will blame them that are doing something. Many a times. Because they have nothing to do, they have time to speak about what others are, are doing. But them that have no time for talking about something, but have the only time they have is of doing something, they continue. Hmm? They continue doing what they should do. So, I am saying that uh, the Excellent people will always influence them that are mediocre. Them that are mediocre. Them that are living of your of you. No, of your of you is like what? <laughs> them that are living carelessly. Them that are not restrained from doing anything. You know, these are this a description the Bible gives lasciviousness. Have you heard of that word? That word simply means someone who lives without self-control. That one works where self-control is not there. You can do anything. You can speak anything. You can be anything. You can be anywhere. Anytime you can be with anybody, <laughs> no? and you're not thinking or reasoning about what the people you are spending time is, or what the people time you're spending time with 
are depositing in you. You're just passing time. And you can speak anything. Eh? And you can be anything. You're not specific on what kind of person you want to be. In other words, there is no self-discipline. I think self-discipline and self-control is look like they're the same. Although there's, there's a bit of difference. Self now self-control talks about the Greek word means holding yourself from the inside. You know when you like for example you want to do something and you know that whatever you want to do is not right. You want to say something and the word whatever you want to speak is not right. So you hold yourself from within. You are you, 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 are, you are, like for example, somebody tells you umbo wewe. You want to release someone, but you are like ah. <laughs> you hold yourself. <laughs> you hold yourself not to release someone. You hold yourself not to release. Mekwasana na mtu wakachukua ma. Easy to do. So you, what do you do? And then we're going to mow in a bang and kill again. So you hold yourself from. So them that are carrying mowers, these are mediocre. <laughs> Who can do anything? Them can throw their hands. But you. They need to speak so much wisdom in, in, in Nyanza. Or some other. You know, when you are not, you cannot control your anger. And you can do anything. Ah. <laughs> Mediocrity. Yeah, so what we are saying is, uh, when, because Daniel is a man of, of excellence, even the person who is in charge of him could easily just, does what he says. He is doing what Daniel is saying. Hmm? He looked at this guy. This young man looks very organized. Looks very sound. Looks very sober. Even he is younger than me. He is very excellent in his work. He is like... Huh? And also the influence has begun. Even before he... Be, just as a student he is having influence. So tell me what will happen if he rises up beyond that. So this is the source. From the beginning he decided God must have shined in his heart. And you know all the days they have lived in that land for 70 years they have never forgotten their source, their origin, where they came from, the kind of people they are. As people who are of God, he's been on the scriptures all his life. Even if he's living in a land that does not recognize the God that he, be, he believes. I think the kind of man that we can talk about might be when you read that verse in chapter number 20 of Romans verse 2, where the Bible says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world. Daniel is one of them that never conform to the pattern of the people around him. He never conform to the to the to the environment, to the standard, to the kind of you know, Daniel lived under four most corrupt kings. But he maintained his existence. So this can also speak to us that excellence can be more of character. They normally say when I saw thought in your mind, a, a thought and if you nurture that thought, it determines how you will think. And the same thoughts will determine how you will speak. 
speak and the same speech words that you speak we determine the kind of habit that you will have and ultimately that habit will form the character so it begins from somewhere so that's why anything that has spoken to us by anybody we have to look at it spiritually and this is where now we have responsibility because if you are looking at everything spiritual and a kind of person is speaking to you and there's a way kind of people who move you my god they push you. they are angry at you as like this was saying people who know nothing always want to tell us what to do <laughs> always they know nothing but they are screaming you know now that you're not doing what they are, what you are saying he was saying that now that we don't he was talking about the i think it is the npf of that area as that finish but they are not part of it they were screaming and doing and they, they know nothing but they they don't have the influence we have they don't have the knowledge we have but they are telling us what to do there's a way a kind of man want to exert influence that he doesn't have he feels like you're running out of his hand <laughs> you don't do what he says and the way they express it they express it physically but i like this one like daniel you know daniel is just this cool and calm guy and he doesn't have much pressure <laughs> even when he want to do something he doesn't force can no people force things they force they know they're not having influence yeah i think uh, we can stop there for today we are praying that even in the conference we are coming in we are people addressing the spirit of excellence the spirit of excellence i'm not defining the word excellence but i think from what we are talking you will see something we are going to speak about this for the next 2 3 months until something is formed in us and everything about us has to be excellent in Jesus name father we are grateful for this day thank you i mean thank you mole grasata la brashere be glidico sala crodia din topo de mo celebrate ca la brashere be glade Red we are beginning on this and we will be glowing over this city in the name of Jesus Christ the spirit of excellence will enter us as we speak as we think about it and as we do matola broka tele brecha tele glare mo sere be la tira gladia lin coma de mo sante de beglada we give you glory thank you for the meeting that is beginning tomorrow in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Lord Jesus thank you makoto soko pora gle brochere be glad mante pasata kala brochere be glad romo de go santa kapere gladia Makoto solo pedi moshere be gladi bo siri plare bo santa ra bagladi ka sakati ra kleda la kapata sele pedi moshere be gladi bo siri be gladi in the mighty name of Jesus. It goes well with us in this week, beginning tomorrow. Thank you, Lord, for them that are leaving Mombasa today. They will arrive here safe and secure in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Holy Spirit. Ma kotela prosiri big lady. Lin toka paraba. Rent tele brochette de clary bo siri big la. In the mighty name of Jesus. I honor you Lord Jesus. And we are going to experience glory this week. Glory, I mean glory. Thank you. Thank you Holy Spirit of God. We give you praise and honor in Jesus name. Amen. and have our offering as we
finish our service in the name of Jesus. Man talk of Lobro celebrity Moshere Begledi. La Kata Pasala Brode Moshere Begledi Moshere Begledi. O Thomas and Terebek Lady, Libro Shet Terebek La.